Iranian football legend Ali Dei says an international flight has been rerouted to prevent his wife and daughter from leaving the country. The 53-year-old, who has voiced support for anti-government protests, said his family had tried to fly from Tehran to Dubai to join him on holiday on Monday. But the flight was made to land on an Iranian island in the Gulf and they were removed. No reason was given and the pair are returning to Tehran, Ali Day added. The latest protests were triggered by the death in custody of Iranian Kurd Masa Amini, 22, in September. She had been held for allegedly wearing her headscarf improperly. More than 500 protesters, including 69 children, have been killed, while thousands of others have been arrested, human rights activists say. Dozens of Iranian security personnel are also reported to have been killed. Iran's state-run news agency Erna said Mr. Day's wife, Mona Farokazari, had pledged to inform officials before leaving the country, following the couple's association with the groups against the Islamic Revolution. Erna said their flight had landed at Kish Island and Ali Day's wife and daughter got off the plane. Mr. Day said the pair were going to Dubai for a few days trip and back, adding, had they been banned from leaving, the passport police system should have shown it. No one has given me an answer about this. In a social media post in September, he urged the government to solve the problems of the Iranian people rather than using repression, violence and arrests. Earlier in December his jewelry shop and restaurant in Tehran was shut down by the judiciary. In addition to arrests, Iranian authorities have banned several celebrities, artists and prominent figures from leaving the country following their support for the mass protests. Ali Dei, 53, is one of Iran's most famous sports figures. A former captain of the national football team. He has scored 109 goals at an international level in the 1990s and early 2000s.